Ah! That's new. Uh, a lot of people complain about this, and personally, I don't have a problem with it at all. But, um, I guess if I do own all the DLC already, this probably shouldn't be here, Paradox. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a Gravy Baby's Ada Gravy Baby Gravy. Help me. My eternal suffering will not come to an end. This is Hearts of Iron A to Z, where I play every single Star Nation Hearts of Iron 4. We've got pretty far into it, and today we are in the letter S. And officially, as this video goes live, there are only 20 nations left in Hoi 4 A to Z, and that is it. We are done. We are over. We have finadoed it. It is... <gasps> I will be free. And uh, if you haven't been paying attention, I said that if I hit 700k by the time the series has ended, I will do every single starting nation left on the list in one big go, so there'll be day upload. So if you are new to the channel, you want to help me get to 700 hundred thousand subscribers um please hit the sub button it'll be very painful for all of us but before we get into that Quick word from today's sponsor. That's right, today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. It's 2022 and protecting your online information has never been more important. Which is why my VPN of choice is Surfshark VPN, which comes with a variety of features that will keep your information secure online, like their clean web tool, which will search any website you want for malicious content. And let's not forget it's a cheeky VPN, so with a click of a button, you can change your location to anywhere around the globe and get access to content that may be locked in your area. And with over 3,000 subs and 65 different from countries, you can say goodbye to region lock content for good. And on top of all of that good stuff, Surfshark allows you to access your Surfshark account on any number of devices. That's right, just one login for every single one of your devices. And if you go sign up with Surfshark VPN down below by using my code, you get yourself 83% off and free extra months for free today by just signing up. And guess what? If you're not happy with the service, for whatever reason, you can get yourself a 30-day money-back guarantee guarantee with Surfshark VPN. They really help support the channel and I know a lot of you guys have started using them. So feel free, use my link down below, sign up today with Surfshark VPN and get yourself protected online. Right, so today we are in S and S stands for Saudi Arabia. But for once in a long time now, we are playing with a mod. That's right, we are playing with the Minor Nations Reborn mod. Did we play with this before already? I don't think we did, but either way, it basically goes ahead and revamps the vanilla focus tree to give us some extra stuff to do. Uh, I know there's already probably Saudi Arabia mobs out there, but uh, I personally just wanted to give this one a go because it was recommended on the ISAR Productions Reddit. That's right, I have a Reddit. You can go to the Reddit and post mods you think I should play. Or memes. Terrible, terrible memes. Oh, they've actually uh, updated a little bit down here. That actually gives us uh, a bit of oil production too. Don't mind if I do. So yeah, it basically revamps the vanilla focus tree to give us a bit more to do. And now you can really flex on your Italian main players because their focus tree is worse than Switzerland's. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. We have desert, oil, and more desert, <laughs> and an infatuation with Audis. And today we're gonna find out exactly what that Saudi bussy can be doing. Oh, that is the most cursed thing I have ever said out loud. Now we do have somewhat of a decent population over here in Saudi Arabia. Um, not in all states though. I'm <laughs> interested to see the brave 42 people living out here. And I think we may be going communist for the simple fact that we do go ahead and get the buff to the manpower, which is always needed when you play a smaller nation. But uh, as you can see already, uh, we're not exactly booming just yet. I haven't really found that black gold just right now. Do have a little bit. But we need more. Uh, if uh, there's uh, any of my rich Saudi oil print subscribers uh, viewing, if you have a spare Audi laying around, I'm your man. Send me a tweet. It does make me wonder. Uh, <laughs> What famous people? Okay, it's a bit of a reach, but do you think any famous person has ever, like, just come across one of my videos? Because <laughs> I know for a fact there have been politicians that have watched me before, not naming names, but uh, I do find that very funny. I I'm just saying, if you're watching Brad Pitt, 
Hit a like, <laughs> subscribe. All right, interesting selection of people we have here. We got the armor specialist, the cavalry guy, and the logistics man. Not too sure what we're gonna really go for here. I'm just rushing down our uh, little resource things down here that'll give us a bunch of oil. And the next one after this actually gives us a couple more factories too. And then we can appeal to some investments. Which, um, still not sure which side I'm gonna join. But I guess if I go communism, it won't be one of yours. Oh, glad to see one of my 42 brave men living down here in the desert have <laughs> found me my oil. I don't actually know too much about Saudi Arabia. I know it's uh, sandy, a lot of oil, a uh, few human rights atrocities, but uh, mostly, who am I to judge? Because, you know, I mentally torment loads of people online, hundreds of thousands of you playing Hoi 4 every other day. That's right, you think you guys are uh, torturing me? Well, <laughs> look in the mirror, little Timmy. Oh god. Okay, we need to very quickly get rid of this modifier. Now, communist revolution is is about to cripple the nation. Oh God, help! I'm being held hostage by my own dumb ideas. You know, I really want to build tanks. Is that a stupid idea? That might be a stupid idea, but I'm gonna build tanks. As you can see, I clearly have the steel resources to do it. There we go, that was pretty good. And now we are the Republic of the Arabian Assembly and unifying Arabia is definitely our goal. Also, yeah, good work on the flag paradox. You really shook me there. All right, first avenue of expansion. And as you can see, we are already very prepared. Oh, I just realized the Rackland Democratic too. Please don't join the Allies, please. Oh, they don't even have enough troops to uh, cover the line. So my cavalry division, once again, everyone, always build cavalry division to the start of the game. It is just going absolutely wild. There we go. Easy peasy. I was kind of worried that uh, Iran would get uh, guaranteed. But they did not get guaranteed, which means I will also destroy them. Also, nice to see the leader of Iraq move to Iran pretty much <laughs> soon after. And usual, no real problem actually taking land. The problem is holding it from the revolts. There we go. Easily wrap that one up. And that's probably the last bit of expansion we're going to do for a while. Don't we look... Beautiful, question mark. As you can see, everyone is very grateful for their new overlords. They love me. Love to shoot at me, apparently. It's uh, a bit spicy over here. All right, World War II is kicking off, and we are just pretty much stabilizing our realm right now, as you can see. Barely. And now we need to focus on creating our ultimate tank division to help somehow. Oh, uh... Denmark's had a change of heart, apparently. Yes, yes, we can be best friends, Denmark. Wasn't gonna expand, but then I just realized that Yemen also has a focus tree and also gets oil and steel. Uh, plus no one guaranteed them, so... Why not? All right, oh man, your free trial to life has... Oh my god, 38 steel. Don't mind if I do. This is a peacekeeping mission. Um... As in, I want a piece of that steel. All right, interesting tactic you have there, Mr. Stalin. Uh, not too sure if this was a worthwhile exercise, though. All right, production of our tank is underway, and I do have to say it is one speedy boy and very, uh, very powerful one, too. Well, it is safe to say that that oil is coming very much in handy as we are making money. All right, my SPGs still aren't quite ready. It is going to take a while to fill all this out. It might be easier if I actually just switch off of this now and go to motoriz motorization. But, uh, I, I, I just love manpower. Goodbye, farewell, sweet manpower bonus, and on to my stupid tank designer. All right, we got our first batch out, and we are going to join Mr. Stalin and see what we can do. Oh, God, the real enemy in this war is going to be the supply. Thank you, Stalin. All I'm saying, if the Soviet II gets a single one of these bad boys encircled, you will never hear the end of it, Mr. Stalin. I will burn your country to the ground in every game I play. All right, I focused for speed on these bad boys for a reason. Hopefully, we can get some overruns, but the problem is, with no supply, it kind of uh, screws up that avenue pretty badly. Uh, it's gonna be pretty easy just to pick these little German troops off one by one, considering there's not a lot of them. But again, 
Where is my supply? Oh my god, the Soviets just pulled all of their troops off of Stalingrad. Thank you, Stalin! Uh, yeah, I think I'll do the smart thing here and find somewhere better to fight. I swapped down one of my support companies for logistics and uh, it's going a lot better. Sorry, silly of me to think that Stalingrad would have enough supply for five tank divisions. And uh, yeah, unsurprisingly, when these things are actually supplied, they do in fact tear through the Germans. I, I want more of these things, but the problem is I put any more <laughs> into production, I'm going to end up causing a famine in the Soviet Union. All right, I think the move is going to be trying to close up this and turn it into a giant pocket. And the way I'm doing that is simply moving across the front line and getting encirclements, which seems to be working. There we go. It's working. As soon as we move over here, though, we just ran out of supply, which is really fun. Once again, I have been defeated by the Soviet winter. It's usually not the Soviets that are supposed to be defeated by the Soviet winter, but here we are. I'm literally trying to keep your godforsaken country alive here. <laughs> you just won't give me some bread to eat. Oh, come on. If we can get this and so come and right here, this would be pretty juicy. There is a railway gun in there, and it can't get out currently because we've got this railway right here. Oh, there we go. Railway gun surrounded. We didn't get the full encirclement, but hey, as long as that railway gun's off the front line, that's all I care about. Uh, the uh, little tanks there did take a little bit of damage but thankfully we are producing a lot of them in fact i should probably buy more resources by looks free were railway guns in one province uh, not too sure what the uh the fuhrer was thinking about with that one but uh they oh i captured one Woo! <laughs> i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do with this thing but sure and here we see the great saudi arabian horde moving westward Looking for a crumb of supply. For some reason, this Romanian pocket has survived the entire time, and it is now my my prerogative in life to relink it up with Russia. This is a it's just like that meme with the girl sitting on the sofa. <laughs> Never fight in Russia. Worst mistake of my life. I also updated my uh, SPG and put the latest howitzer on it, and uh, let's just say. <laughs> It packs a punch. And considering I don't even have mechanized one because I can't really afford it on these things. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, screw Russia. I'm taking my business elsewhere. And that is to beat up the Italian. Uh, you, you just you just hate to see it, don't you? You just hate to see it. I love to see it. This is the, the best thing I've ever seen ever. Oh god, I don't even know why I bothered with this. This is a worse idea than Russia. I guess the only positive is that they are also dying just as hard as I am. Are you kidding me? <laughs> did they just land as soon as I took it? Oh, I know. Okay, they're gone. It's fine. Uh, the AI did something useful. Okay, go. We'll clean up North Africa. Then we'll take this little port over here and move into Normandy and see what's happening there, mate. That doesn't look good. I believe this is going to be a terribly... Good idea. Well, uh, they can't do anything against my decked out Saudi Arabian Audis. Can't believe I actually just managed to save this D-Day. The allies have pulled out pretty much completely and it's just me pushing now. I am telling you, if I just had five more of these things, the war would already be over. Out of my me just single-handedly saving D-Day and securing France with the power of oil. Uh, also, yeah, I should have just come straight over to Western Europe. There is no saving the <laughs> East. I wish I could leave the common turn and just join the allies because I have made a serious mistake here on whose <laughs> who's alliance I wish to join. Alright, uh, they're not fully equipped, but here's six more of them and we are going to do the final push. Uh, I mean, I have no supply, but they are, yep, quite literally rolling over the Germans. Going to go ahead and just uh, order them out though because uh, that's going to take a lot of attrition in the end and uh, these things are very expensive. Plus, it's way more fun to uh, micro them anyway and get cool little and Circle months. Screw it. We're ending this once and for all. Yeah, I think this is fair. We go. After my hard work and dedication, it's only fair that I take all of the reward and take it all from the Allies. And also after the abysmal display from the Soviets, we're not even going to talk about them. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Actually, I really do enjoy this mod, and I think I'll probably use it again when we get to a few more nations that uh, don't have focus trees, because that was quite a blast. Uh, it actually lets you build up quite the industry, as you can look in my provinces now. They are pretty much all filled up, and because of the decisions they actually add, you can even go ahead 
and get even more of a larger industry. So yeah, shout out to whoever suggested this mod on the Reddit. Sorry, I can't remember your name and I'm not going to tab out to go find it. But uh, if you want to keep posting more mod suggestions, post them on the Reddit. I'll check it out. But yes, that was Saudi Arabia done. And uh, I gotta say, it was pretty fun. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. Or else Saudi Arabia with my go-go bangy bangy tanks will come and say hello.